In the world of flavors, nothing quite grabs our attention like the zing of chili peppers. Today, we're diving into the Scoville scale, a measure that reveals just how hot a chili can be. It's an ingenious system, crafted over a century ago by an American pharmacist named Wilbur Scoville. His name now adorns this scale, a testament to his contribution to the spicy side of gastronomy. His method? Dilution, until the heat of the chili was barely perceptible. But how exactly does one measure the fire within these colorful fruits? It all begins with capsaicin, the chemical compound that makes peppers hot. This powerful substance interacts with our sensory neurons, triggering that familiar burning sensation. Interestingly, capsaicin doesn't actually cause any physical harm. Instead, it tricks our brain into thinking it's in contact with something hot. Now let's go back in time to the early 20th century. Wilbur Scoville developed a method for measuring the heat of peppers. This involved diluting a pepper's extract until its heat was just barely detectable by a panel of tasters. The more dilution required, the hotter the pepper, and thus, the higher its Scoville rating. But as science advanced, so did our methods of measuring heat. Today, we use high-performance liquid chromatography, a technique that separates, identifies, and quantifies each component in a mixture. This allows us to measure the exact amount of capsaicin in a pepper, which we then convert into Scoville units. Today, more precise methods like high-performance liquid chromatography determine the capsaicin content scientifically, translating that into Scoville units. Let's look at where some popular peppers fall on the Scoville scale. At the cooler end, we have the humble bell pepper. Known more for its crunch than its kick, bell peppers clock in at a soothing zero Scoville heat units. A step up the scale brings us to the jalapeno. A staple in many a salsa, these green gems range from 2,500 to 8,000 shu. Now let's turn up the thermostat, enter the habanero, boasting a fiery 100,000 to 350,000 SHU. This pepper is not for the faint-hearted, and for those who laugh in the face of culinary danger, we present the ghost pepper. Soaring over 1 million shu, this pepper is named for its ability to haunt your taste buds long after the meal is over. And at the pinnacle of heat, the Carolina Reaper challenges the daring with up to 2.2 million SHU making it one of the hottest peppers in the world. From the sizzling streets of Mexico to the bustling markets of India, chili peppers ignite our senses and connect cultures. These vibrant pods of heat have become a universal language, transcending borders and infusing dishes with their distinct character. The Scoville scale, in its fiery glory, enables us to appreciate this heat, adding a dash of science to our culinary adventures. So the next time you bite into a spicy dish, Remember the Scoville scale and the fascinating science behind the sensation of heat. How hot can you handle?